Welcome home. Uh, I know I'm not exactly supposed to be here, but there's no need to be afraid. I might have fangs, but I don't bite. Uh, you, anyway. <laughs> I would introduce myself and give you my name, but... Well, I, uh... I don't exactly have one. We tend not to have any because we Lamias are pretty solitary creatures. And we can identify each other by smell if need be. That's the solitary life. We're usually abandoned relatively soon after birth, actually. Except for cottonmouth Lamias, of course. But I'm not a cottonmouth Lamia. I have a rattle, after all. Notice it? It would be nice, though, being a cottonmouth Lamia, so I could actually be cared for as a youngling. That's what I like about you, actually. You take care of your young. Uh, you humans, I mean. <laughs> Although I do love you in particular. That's why I'm here, after all. And it really is so nice here. It's so warm. Even when it's cold outside, I don't know how you humans keep your houses so warm. That really goes to show how amazing you are. I'm cold-blooded, so this is a really big issue for me. I haven't felt this warm in forever. It really is so lovely here. This place is almost as lovely as your company. Oh, but there's no need to introduce yourself. I already know all about you, of course. I've actually... Mm, been watching you for a while. Now, I'm not the most informed on human culture, but I do see how that sort of thing could be seen as a bit... Um, unsettling. Creepy, even. I can assure you, I didn't mean any harm by it. It's just... Well, you're the only human out here, out in the woods, and, and you know, you just... You reminded me of myself, in a way. All by yourself out here. All alone. I saw a lot of myself in you. And it made me want to see you more. And so I did! <laughs> I watched you and watched you and watched you. And the more I saw, the more I liked you. Which I didn't even think was possible. But when I watched you sitting by the lake, looking out at it, all alone. For some reason, it just made me love you more. Or or when I watched you walking through the woods, taking pictures, all alone, it made me... Oh. Well, first of all, it made me want a camera myself, because I'd love to take pictures of you. But that also made me love you more. All the times I watched you, no matter what it was you were doing, it made me think, I want to be with you. It made me think I... I want to be your mate. So, uh, what do you say, huh? I know this is kind of sudden, and you don't know me, and, well, I am in your house without permission, but... Well, that's why I decided to slither on over here, actually. Instead of, you know, watching you from behind the bushes like I normally do. I really wanted to respect you. I wanted to give you your distance, not, not force my way into your place while you weren't home, but... Oh, I just love you very, very much, and and I find it so hard to stay away from you. You know, I, I tried holding myself up in my burrow, just staying in there, away from you, safely far away, enough that I wouldn't bother you. But there's not much to busy myself with in there, not much to think about. And when I'm there, all I can really think about is how cold it is. And how warm you must feel. I'm sure if I wrapped my tail around you right now, you'd be just the warmest thing ever. I, I shouldn't, and, and I won't. At least I don't think I will. Not without your permission, anyway. But it is very, very tempting when you're so lovely and warm. It gets especially cold in my burrow when it rains. But looking at your shelter, oh, this place is rainproof. 
Oh, I'd love to stay here with you as your mate. And then on rainy days, we could stay inside and... If you're comfortable with it, I could ever so gently wrap my tail around you. You would keep me warm and I would keep you cuddled. Oh, doesn't that just sound wonderful? My tail is wagging just thinking about it. Hmm. Do you like the sound of my rattle? Its main use is to ward off predators. Not that I can't hold my own, of course. <laughs> Nothing else in these woods is enough to threaten me. Not bears, not coyotes, not wolves. Speaking of wolves, though, that actually reminds me. See, there's something that prompted me to finally face my fears and talk to you. The other day, I, uh... Well, I, I saw a wolf girl leaving through your door. Naturally, I tried to chase her, but oh, she was too fast and got away. It's a good thing you weren't home. I don't even want to think about what could have happened to you if you were here when that mutt broke in. It made me even more conscious about just how vulnerable you are. How I need to protect you. You're the most precious thing that I have ever had the joy of laying my eyes on. So there's no way I can leave you to danger. I don't know if you're willing to become my mate right away. You did just meet me right now, after all, but... Well, I still need to keep you safe. And to do that, I need to stay with you. Uh, to be more direct, I, um... I would like to live with you. Like your very own bodyguard. I will be the best protector that you could ever ask for. I have a great sense of smell. I can smell any annoying wolf girls from over a kilometer away. So they won't be sneaking up on us. All I have to do is flick my tongue a few times and that's that. And I'm incredibly good in a fight. You wouldn't believe it. I can wipe the floor with anything when push comes to shove. You see these fangs? They're highly venomous. More venomous than anything you've ever seen before. Just a single bite from these has enough venom to kill 100 adult humans. Uh, not that I would kill humans. Unless you want me to, of course. And, uh, do you see this tail of mine? I can squeeze something with the strength of 5,200 pounds per square inch. Not even alligators can bite with that much force. Did you know that? Do you have any idea how strong 5200 is? That's about the weight of 13 adult male black bears compressed down onto every square inch. It's really strong. Nothing that I constrict is strong enough to break free. Well, maybe constrict isn't the right word here since... Unlike a snake, when I squeeze something aggressively, it's not to asphyxiate them. It's to crush their bones. Which snakes can't do. They, they can't crush bones. Not like me. Oh, but don't worry. I'd never crush your bones. I promise to always be super, super mindful and considerate of how delicate your body is. I have to keep you safe, after all. I have to ward off predators from you. Oh, I think it would be a good idea to accept me. If not as your mate, then at least as your live-in bodyguard. Uh, for now. And you know, it'll be very convenient to have me around. I'm extremely low maintenance. After all, since I'm cold-blooded, I don't actually need that much food. I'm not a big eater. I, I can survive off of just ten big meals a year. And, and I can hunt for myself, obviously. Why... I could even hunt for you. How do you like your mice, huh? Alive? Oh, me too! They taste so much better that way! Oh, wait, you mean alive as in not eaten, right? As in, you don't eat them? That's, um... Oh, well, that's okay. I can see if I can get you something else. Like I said, I'm not the most informed on human culture, but... But that's okay, because I'm willing to learn. For you. I'm willing to learn anything for you. Because I love you. I can learn to be more human-like if that would make you happy. 
I don't know where to begin, but anything you teach me, I'll learn. Oh, your sense of smell isn't good enough to identify me, right? So, uh, then, then you could give me a name. Would that make you happy? Would, would that make you more open to the idea of being my mate? Say, that, uh, that wolf girl, she, um, she isn't your mate, right? Is she? I, I smell her a bit on you. I, I was hoping your sense just got mixed up because she was in your home, but I really hope it's not because your mates. Because, well, that wolf girl is no good for you. Wolf girls in general aren't good for you. First of all, you know, they're, they're pack animals. They're, they're not even strong enough to fight on their own. They, they just depend on numbers. Do you really think a mate like that is going to be able to protect you? I, on the other hand, have spent my entire existence alone. I, I've always hunted all by myself. I know more than enough to protect you. A human as precious as you needs to be kept safe, and, and I'm the only one for the job. I, I mean, wolf girls tend to have a bite force of only 400 pounds per square inch. <laughs> what, what would one even do with that, huh? And, and I already told you that I'm stronger, right? She has no right to be near you. And, and even strength aside, think about how annoying it would be to be with her. I mean, they're warm-blooded. Uh, not, not that I have anything against warm-blooded creatures, mind you, because you, you are so wonderful and I love you so much, but, but I mean, that, that just means they need more food. Wolf girls need more food. She'd be such a burden on you. And, and think about how annoying her shedding would be. She'll get little patches of her fur here and there all the time. Oh, it'd be so annoying to clean up. Not like me. I shed my skin all at once. It's super easy to just take the shedded skin and throw it somewhere and... Oh, wow, you, uh, you look really horrified to learn I shed my skin. <laughs> Maybe that's more of a second date topic of conversation, but but that's okay. I'll take care of all that. You you don't have to worry about it. I'll take care of it because I'm the better mate for you. Me. I'm the only one for you. The only one who should stay with you. You you want to stay with me, right? Right? You do, don't you? What do you say?